He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Artyom, we already knew of Oktobriska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this. Entrance. Yet he didn't even try to disprove Open it. Gate. He told them by sheer luck that their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby. And thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this darkening epidemic in its blood. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of it. What can you say to that? Even I would have done the same. But come on, it was Lesnitsky, the agent yes, who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Artyom. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, sir. yes, Moskvin did gear up for war. But after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to peace. Agreed. We must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin? What difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood. Agreed. What? Stay You've got here. a better idea? You brought this ape here. Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're sir. done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. Please let this work out. As a result, our defense I therefore have ordered Operation El Dorado shut down. Hail Reich! And to summarize the official proceedings, I call on the leader of the Red Line, Comrade Bosky. Comrade, Comrade. I won't hesitate to use this for dear, dear friends. We also, we also consider the motion to distribute... Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace! In the name of our children! You are a liar! God, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards! Take this man away. Ranger, stand down! Artyom, little one, it's your turn. Comrade Moscovit, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the help? Threat! We're brothers! 
He thinks you feel bypassed. Cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. <laughs> Maxim, brother, I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother. What? It is unanimous. Maxim Leonidovich Moskvin has been elected the new Secretary General of the party. Silent treatment. What are you looking at me with those honest eyes for? It was your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now, he's got me by the balls. All because of you! Sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so... I'm not surrendering D6. Follow me! It will be bad for everyone if you lose. Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. 